Hey guys, it's Monica. You know, I um, I wanted to answer a couple of questions that I've gotten and, you know, I wanted to let everyone know my thoughts on these two products. But with everything that's been going on in the world today, with what's happening over in Israel and the Gaza, you know, the Gaza Strip area and the West Bank and all of, all of the turmoil and, you know, the things that are, it's just horrific. Some of the stuff that is happening, all the stuff that's happening is horrific. And I'm thinking, is anyone really going to care, you know, about makeup or about, you know, sunblock? Is anyone really going to care right now? But, you know, you've asked, so I'm going to do a quick video update. I had mentioned this past, mm, I don't know when it was now, it could have been sometime in the summer maybe, I had mentioned that I had gone to, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to have a cosmetic company store near me. Actually, I have two. And so if you don't have a cosmetic company store near you, um, this might not, you know, be a super, I think you can, I think you can go online as well. But anyways, I went to the cosmetic company store and I had picked up and they have these fabulous sales, right? I mean, I can get some of the products that I really like. It's hit or miss. You know, sometimes you go in there and it's, you can't see anything, but it is very much hit or miss. But sometimes I'm super fortunate. I'm able to pick up products that I love at a almost a drugstore price, right? Depending on the sales. So 60% off and then you can have coupons. These are in our outlet stores. So I picked up last time I went and I talked about this because I was so excited about this. I picked up the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra. I think it's Hydra. Is it Hydra? Rescue. And this is an SPF 45. It's a foundation. I picked it up at the cosmetic company store when Jay and I went up to Maine. I couldn't believe the price. I had a coupon and I think, gosh, I think it was like under $20, which to me is like drugstore. So I thought I was going to get it and they had my color. I really, in this, in this brand, I end up wearing Pebble, which is, let me see... I think Pebble is 3C2. So I picked this up. It's the first time I've ever used it. I also was, on that same time, picked up a bottle of my regular Estee Lauder Double Wear, which is the foundation I wear all the time, or most of the time. So I picked that up. And I also picked up an other Estee Lauder Foundation Double Wear. This is the Sheer Long Wearing Makeup foundation. It has an SPF, I think, of 35 in it, and it, they also had my color. So this is definitely a sheer color, so uh, a sheer foundation. I love the coverage I get with Estee Lauder. I love how it lasts all day, and on my skin, it works. It really does. It works really well for me. Now, sometimes when I use the double wear, I do have to put a couple of drops of the squalene oil on my hand, face oil, and mix it because sometimes it can be a little bit drying. But it really all depends on my skin, what's going on with my skin. This has been my foundation brand of choice. I know there are some of you that dislike double wear or Estee Lauder, and there are some of you that probably love Estee Lauder, but I really, really like this brand on my skin. Now, I have got Lancome. I have this Lancome that I bought. Um, this is the Lift Makeup. It's supposed to make you look younger. I think I got this at the mall, I don't know, quite a few years ago. You can see, probably two years ago, you can see the cover broke. It had fallen. I really like this a lot, but not as much as my Estee Lauder. So the Estee Lauder Double Wear has been a tried and true for me, and these are the two that I tried this year. And I'm thinking, hmm, am I gonna like them? So this Hydra one can give you a little bit of a glow. So if you're oily, this might be too oily for you, but if you're dry like me, you might really like it. The coverage, you can build it, but the coverage is more on a lighter coverage, as is the Share All Day. This one, oh my gosh. So if I'm not going anywhere special and I just wanna you know, even out my face, sometimes I don't even wear foundation when I'm home, but I will, I'll put this on. I love both of these. And again, I never tried them before. I saw them at the cosmetic company store. Perfect, I think, for the summer with the SPF factor. 
that to me was a huge, huge benefit. I really like it. I think having an SPF, both of these have SPF in it, I think is so important for anti-aging. It's just, it's so important and it isn't enough, right? You have to have uh, a found it, uh, you have to have sunblock underneath it. But anyways, I'm so glad I bought them. I'm so glad I took a chance. I absolutely love them. Now, on my face right now <laughs> is none of these. On my face right now is the Hydra Luminous. This is the number seven moisturizing foundation. This was actually sent to me quite a while ago from one of you, one of my subscribers. And I tell you, I have worn this a lot, especially in the summertime. This is in the shade Wheat, and I think my skin looks a little bit darker. So in the summertime, I really like this because it makes me feel like I have a little bit of a color, and this also has SPF in it. So this is what I have on today just because I wanted to play around with it. I wanted to see what it looked like on camera. It had been a long time. And also, I'm trying to save these. However, I'll tell you, the, the um, when you can get them at, say, the cosmetic company store, they're just as affordable as drugstore. They really are, especially with the the ticket prices and, you know, the coupon prices, I should say, because that makes a big, big difference. So I have been wearing sunblock. After I do my skincare, I do sunblock every day. And I love, love, love the, um, well, the Trader Joe is my sunblock of choice. But the Super Goop for the face, it's like a primer. It just kind of fills in your pores a little bit. It just, and your makeup, and for me, for my skin, my makeup goes on super nice. I've tried many other sunblocks and, um, or sunscreen, and many of them, when I put my makeup on, my foundation on, they don't, they don't play nice. I can get away with it sometimes, but they don't, but it's usually a little bit, it takes a little bit of work. But the Super Goop, awesome, right? I love, love, love it. Super expensive. The Trader Joe, and I don't have one to show you because I'm all out and I wish I'd kept my empty. But the Trader Joe's, if you can get them um, at the store, it's like, I think it's like under $8 for the uh, almost identical to the Super Goop, in my opinion. I use the Super Goop on my face, my foundation goes on beautifully. I use the Trader Joe, my, my foundation goes on beautifully. Now, I have been really mesmerized by the e.l.f. e.l.f. has come out with their Sun Touchable. They have two versions of this. They have a Glow, which I did not buy, but I did hear from Sheila, who did buy it, and she said it just was way, 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 way too glowy. I didn't buy it. I did get this. This is the Invisible Sunscreen. This is the everyday one. It has a broad spectrum. I think it's 35. And in my opinion, this, you shake it up. It's a little bit more. If you shake it up good, it'll come out nice and thick. But it's a little bit more, you know, uh, slick, I think. Just a tad bit. But when I put this on all over my face and I let it dry in, I put my, my foundation on, it reacts the exact same as the Super Goop. It has, I think, the same ingredients as the Super Goop and the, or close to the same ingredients as the Super Goop has and as the Trader Joe has. I'm not saying this is gonna be the exact dupe, but if your skin is a combo skin or more dry, and I didn't want to try that glowy one because I don't want to glow. But if, if you like the Super Goop, and then if you like the Trader Joe's, and if you're a mature woman, right, you know you need to have that, even any woman, you need to have that sunblock on all the time. This stuff surprised me. Now, I think this is $14. It's 1.7 ounces. So it really, really surprised me. I think it might be a little bit smaller than the Super Goop for sure and probably the Trader Joe's. I have to really compare the sizes. But of course the Super Goop is just way, way more money. So $14, 1.7 ounces, works awesome on my skin. Sometimes you can catch this on sale. Walmart, anywhere you want, you can catch this on sale. Really great thing. Then I also wanted to try the um, 
the setting spray. So I use the Morphe setting spray, and I don't have it in here. I have a whole box of it, though. I haven't taken out, but I have another one. I use the Morphe SPF 30 Broad Spectrum Sun Setting Spray, and I use that as my setting spray. So I have whatever sunblock in my foundation, whatever sunblock underneath my foundation, and then my setting spray has that in it. Well, more, well, ELF came out with their version of it. It's 45 SPF, so the Morphe's 30 SPF, this is 45 SPF. It is also $14. I think it's two ounces, so it's much smaller than the Morphe. The Morphe's 3.4 ounces. I think the Morphe's $18. So you do the math and you figure out what you, what you, you know, what you really like. But the most important thing is you can hear this and you shake it. It's got little beads in it. You shake it up good, you spray it on. It's just gonna give you a little bit of extra protection for sunblock on top and act as a setting spray. So I'm really liking this, although I will tell you, I think the Morphe, even though you get more, um, bigger product and just for a couple of dollars more, and depending on if you have, if you catch it on sale, the Morphe is a pretty good buy, but I love the fact that this is a higher SPF. So. Anyways, I'm all about that. Ever since I had my most surgery, I'm just, I'm like all about sun protection. You guys know I love the beach. I love going out to the ocean and, um, and all of that. But I just, I'm always on a hunt for something that's going to really work for my skin. So I wanted to give you that report because, you know, some of you have asked, how did I end up liking the, the foundation? Because when I bought it, I kind of did a little mini haul on it. And I will go back to the cosmetic company store and I will buy this if I see it especially in my shade because to me even though it was, a, it was more moisturizing it to me is absolutely a beautiful finish not quite as heavy as the double wear I mean but you can build it up but it beautiful beautiful finish and it had the SPF in it I really like it so highly highly recommend that especially if you have a cosmetic company store this one the sheer all day double wear has SPF two. I I would I'll buy I'll buy this one before I buy this one. But I would definitely purchase both of these again. Really like them. Really like them. If you're a double wear person and you've not tried them, you might wanna you might wanna consider. Now my number seven, this sweet color, like I said, is a little bit darker on me, so I'm just kind of playing around with it. But I've always liked number seven. So when I compare drugstore, it's always been the number seven is what I've compared because I never really, you know, I would do the Maybelline and the CoverGirl, all those other foundations, and I never found one that I really liked that didn't settle into my cracks on my skin and make me look older. And I don't want to look older, right? I don't. Uh, I'm 69. I don't want to look older. So anyways, I just wanted to give you up that update and... Uh, I know times aren't good, right? I mean, we're all really worried by what's happening out there in the world. And it's, it's scary. It's scary. But, you know, we still have to take care of ourselves, right? We still do. So um, I'm not trying to be insensitive by talking about makeup. But sometimes we also need a little bit of a diversion and to think about other things. So hopefully, hopefully that works. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Please thumbs up the video. Leave me a comment. I would so, so appreciate it. You guys stay safe and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week.